to leave to go to the gym but i figured i would show you guys this workout set that i just got from amazon i'm actually obsessed with it um take my jacket off but the top is actually padded which is so nice so you'll have some support when you're working out and then it's matching biker shorts which my tan is all over the place right now um one of my goals today is to apply more tan but there's no point in doing so before i work out so i love this color though i'll have it linked down below and it's also on my amazon shop page in the description of this video this color very like form fitting when you're working out which is always a plus for support i'm probably gonna leave my camera here when i go to the gym and i'll just vlog some clips on my phone <laughs> Hello guys, it's a couple days later now. I'm actually about to go thrifting, but first I need to put air in my tire. The not so glamorous things. Um, also, I am fully aware that the person next to me is staring at me right now and I'm letting it, you know, give me confidence instead of, you know, literally make me feel awful about myself. He probably thinks I'm self-obsessed and taking pictures of myself, but little does he know that it's a video even better really out here doing only the most hot girl summer shit all right i just pulled into my first stop of the day which is goodwill I'm not looking for anything in particular today. I'm just looking for, actually kind of, I'm looking for button ups. Um, I have a white one and I wear it all the time. It's like the perfect staple, but I want some other cool ones and I've been seeing so many online. Um, but honestly, quick tip, if you're looking for a button up, the best place you can find one is the thrift store because they're literally a dollar or two dollars and most of the time you can find some that are so unique and unlike anyone else and i just feel like it is one of the easiest things to thrift first of all it's cheaper second of all it's better for the environment so why not thrift things that are so easy to thrift so especially if you're looking for a white button up and if there's a stain just bleach it um but anyway i'm gonna go in right now i'm literally wearing my pimple patches because i'm obviously gonna wear a mask in here and i just did not want to take them off like i just my skin is going through a little patch right now because i'm on my period so keeping my pimple patches on i don't even think you can really tell on camera maybe slightly but there's one there there's one there but anyway my water spilled on this it's like kind of wet Ew. okay anyway i'm gonna go in now about to go in my literal favorite thrift store I always find the best stuff here. Okay, just left Thrift Giant. Guys, I hit the jackpot. This is literally my favorite thrift store ever, and I'm eating a hat. And I just sanitized the heck out of my hands. But I found the best stuff. I always find good stuff here. If you've been on my channel for a while, I found a fake Louis Vuitton one time, and it was $12. And this was the place that I found it. Um, yeah, it's fake, but like, I don't really care about that stuff. So, it was very exciting for me. But I just got a ton of stuff in there. And it was literally $14. So, I'll show you guys everything I got. Once I get home, I'm going to drive home now. It's 3 o'clock. And it's literally so hot outside. So, I'm going to turn off the camera so I can crank the air. All right, I just got inside, so I thought I would show you guys the beloved thrift haul. Archie, would you like to make an appearance? First, I thrifted this cat. <laughs> okay, but really. Also, I was thinking on my way home. Dang. The girl gave me a discount, so either everything was 50% off today or she literally hooked it up and gave me 50% off of everything. My total was supposed to be like $25.94 before tax, and then I got everything for $14.04. So I definitely got some things out of my comfort zone, but 
when it comes to thrifting i feel like that's the time that i step out of my comfort zone because it's so much more affordable and it's kind of an easy way to like try new things without like the full commitment because it's two dollars three dollars and it doesn't feel like you're buying a 50 dollar top that's out of your comfort zone and then you don't know if you're gonna wear it for me it's not as big of a deal if i don't which i think i will i try to really think through my purchases but if i don't end up liking them then i'll just donate them or give them to a friend so it's kind of worth the risk for me but i got one, two, three, four, five, six things for $14. Like y'all are sleeping on thrifting if you don't. Okay, first, I'm not so sure about this yet. It's an extra large, but it's like this green tank and it has like this really cool, almost like chenille type, like shiny vinyl look, but obviously it's like a summer tank. It's from the dress barn but it's an extra large, so I'm not sure about it, but I was thinking I could do like a bra tuck with it um, and just like wear it cropped. And it definitely has potential. Like I love the color of it. This green is so in right now. So it's definitely worth giving a shot. And I like the material, like I said, it's very like soft and breathable for summer. Next, I got this gray tank. I love getting basic tanks like this at the thrift store because this was literally $2.99 before the discount. So I got this for $1.50. And I mean, simple tanks like what I have on right now are so in and they're so nice in the summer. And then I cut off the bottom and like make it like a cropped tank. And I love a good ribbed tank. Like you just can't go wrong with it. The one I have on right now is a Fruit of the Loom black tank. It's like a wife beater tank. It was actually Jeff's and then I just cropped it and like cut it off no he did not care because they were too small for him anyway because he shrunk everything before he met me next I actually bought a bodysuit which I don't usually do when I thrift but um I convinced myself because it's a great basic and it's in good condition like I can tell it probably was never worn but I'll just wash it twice and it won't be a big deal it's also not like a thong in the back so I'm not worried about it really and I always wear um underwear with my bodysuits anyway so this one's like a mock neck tank black bodysuit and i love stuff like this great basic to have great layering piece um could be worn in the summer or into the fall and winter with like a cardigan or a jacket that kind of thing i got this for two dollars it's originally from forever 21 then next i also don't usually buy stuff like this but I got a Nautica sports bra and it still has the tags on it. I'm just gonna wash it, but it's like super silky and soft. I got this for $5. And I just liked the material. Like I said, I don't usually go for this kind of thing when I'm thrifting, but it had tags on it. And like I said, I wash everything before I wear it. So it's really no harm in my opinion. The next two things are really out of my comfort zone, but it's just one of those things that I couldn't not buy it. So um, I'll put some inspo on the screen of like what I was thinking whenever I saw this, but this kind of piece right now is huge. And this girl I follow, she's in Europe, I think, but she always styles pieces like this and it looks so cute. You know? But I found this. And it's wild, like wild. This is crazy, especially for me. I got it for $2 and I just love the print. It's so 70s. I'm obsessed with orange right now, like purple tones. Like my vision for this is unbuttoned with some jeans and a cropped white tank or bralette underneath this. I just feel like it could be so cute. So stay tuned on how I style this, but I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it's so fun just to like wear unbuttoned and you can do so much with like a button up top like this. That's all I got, $14 later. I always find good stuff there, always. Um, you just have to get it on a good day when it's well stocked and it takes a while, but I usually just put in a podcast or an audible book and just go through the racks. It's worth it. But anyway, I'm gonna wash all this stuff right now and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 
So we just got back from Costco. So I thought I would insert a little haul. We didn't really get that much, but we got this giant thing of spinach for smoothies. We're just gonna keep them in the freezer. So it'll last. And then this 24 pack of Cliff Bars comes with the white chocolate macadamia nut and chocolate chip. And then blueberries, strawberries, this Asian wrap that's with rotisserie chicken. And Jeff got this for lunches, but looks good. And then three pounds of bananas. And yeah, we didn't get very much, but a little Costco haul. So whenever we get more protein bars, I usually organize our little bins. So this is like our protein bar bin. So I'm just gonna put all of these in here and make them fit nicely. And then I will put them back into the pantry. So it's organized. The pantry definitely gets less organized throughout the week because when we're busy, we just kind of just set stuff in here. But whenever we get new groceries, I like to get it organized again. So, that's what I'm doing. Alright, so I just finished loading all of these in here. We have these pick-me-up snack things. Um, also, some other random snacks back there. And then I loaded all of our... Cliff bars in here. I took out the liquid IVs because we didn't get any more at Costco this week. So I kind of just move things around like as we have it. So everything's nice and organized, but yep. The sun's going down right now. So the lighting in here is kind of rough and Archie is sleeping, sunbathing slash sleeping. But I did want to show you guys my plans for this room because I haven't showed it a lot lately it's kind of a mess right now um but i definitely want to put a print up here which i'm gonna diy and once i do that i will definitely share it with you guys when i do that it will be in a vlog of course and then other than that the living room is like pretty close to done i'm gonna take this out of here and put it elsewhere and probably replace it with like a cool lamp like a freestanding lamp in this corner and then in the kitchen, it's a little messy right now, obviously, but my plan with these bar stools, so I got these a while back, but Archie has kind of used them as a scratching post. So I'm going to reupholster these, which is fine because they're a little more gray than I wanted anyway. I want them closer to like a beige tone like this couch is. So I'm gonna reupholster these I'll also be DIYing this, so it'll be included in a vlog, but I feel like the black legs go perfectly in here because I definitely want to incorporate more black, which is my goal. I haven't put anything on this yet because I want it to be perfect when I do, and I don't want to like, I would rather just do it well than like not do it at all, you know? So right now it's just blank until I figure out what I want to put on there and if I want to put something on there because I really do like it by itself too. And then I need to get another pot for this because this tone doesn't really go with this space like it did in my last apartment. So I'm thinking some kind of neutral pot for this. And then the cat bed's over here right now. But I was thinking about getting like a cool chair to go in this corner. Um, almost like a little reading nook situation. I'm not sure yet, but that's what's going on over there. Cat tree is still here. It's just the most practical place. And, you know, they live here too. So it can't just be all about aesthetic. Right, bubs? Anyway, that's a little apartment update I wanted to share with you guys. Because I haven't really shown a lot of the apartment in the last couple vlogs other than the fact that it's a mess in here also ignore this pile i'm donating these but i just created kind of like i just kind of created a pile of stuff um so when i go to donate i grab everything and then this is archie's feeder that he slings across the room when he wants more and it doesn't work obviously but you know that's why it's sprawled across the floor